a hummingbird is freed from a spider web. Yes, folks, this is a polar bear petting a dog. <laughs> Imagine going to the park and seeing bees everywhere. I bet you've never seen a vulture and a dog of all things play together before. An elephant plays in a sprinkler.
careful if you ever see one of these holes on the beach. If you're not careful and dig down near these holes, you might end up pulling out something unexpected. Like this. Let's wash it off real quick. This is a purple clam named Kylie. And you might think this clam doesn't look purple, but it's what's on the inside that counts. These clams are related to squids and octopuses. This little tongue-like thing is Kylie's foot. She uses it to soften up the sand and pull herself back down. And this is where she's gonna live the rest of her life filter feeding. And be sure to follow. If Some lions see a mirror for the first time. Bentley's about to get a bath. So Bentley is funky. He smells really bad because what he does is he go outside and he walks around in his own poop. So Lexi gave him a new nickname. It's Stinky Feet because he smells like shit on his feet. So it's time to give him a little washy wash. So of course, I have to, you know, wet him first. Then I gotta put that soap on him, get him nice and lathered. He does not like baths, so he don't like none of this shit. And now he's looking like a little crackhead because all of his fluffy hair is being weighed down by the water, you know? And I gotta be careful not to get water in his ears. Then I try to comb his hair out, but his hair is nappy, you know? So I go get a different comb. But then he runs around the house like a mad person because he's wet. I mean, he goes crazy running around the house because he's wet. You know, we just let him do his thing. And then just like that, boom! Oh! Oh, Billy, they can't touch you, Billy. Billy looking handsome, ain't he, y'all? Oh, look at you. I see you. Don't you touch me with them old dirty ass feet. Don't. Don't touch me, old country ass, long ass outside feet. Don't touch me. I don't took a bath and everything. I said, don't touch me. I'm clean. Mm -mm. Use your hands. Oh, nasty feet. I said, no, girl, stop. An encounter with a curious wild dingo in Australia. How you doing, buddy? So he's a wild dog, Elliot. So we don't pat these dogs. He's wild. He, no, he doesn't know what patting is. It's my campsite, mate. You can back off, please. Come on. Kiss your dog on the head and record their reaction. always have to play with you. All day dog? Sola, don't talk back to me. It's not about you. Evidently, this African rock python just ate an impala. 
may look normal but Bella is not the mama that raggedy heifer is the mama get off of her get, get off of her stop letting them stop letting them you don't have nothing in there Bella you such a good auntie but baby you can't do that look at your nipples they all sore she ain't got nothing in there mama let them go over there and bother their little raggedy mama with her trifling <laughs> A man in India feeds a metric crap ton of catfish. Imagine trying to get a wild bat, yes, I said a wild bat, out of your house. All right, little bat, just get out the window. Oh my God! No, do what you were doing last time, Daddy, before it kills us. We almost died. First up, it's Moses. Help me. Wanna fight? Shake. Shake. Now it's Lolo. Poop. Parkour. of the underworld himself, Hades. Never again, please. 
acá. Bueno, pues ya está. A man finds a wild anaconda in his home. No. Chicada. Ai! Filha da mãe! Quase, hein, gurizada? Me ma boy, do I do? ตัวนี้แหละครับเนี่ยมาให้พรแล้วดิวพอยเลยมาให้พรมาให้พรนี่นะครับท็อปพิเศษนะครับท็อปพิเศษนะครับทีวธรรมศาสตร์โซเชียลเชนจ์เมเกอร์งงเซยอยู่ one more time When black people say that's white people shit, this is the stuff they're talking about. Oh, that's a good boy. Hi. I know. I know. I know, buddy. Here. Good boy. Yeah. That's a good boy. Hey, yours, yeah. You gotta move your paw. Good boy. I know. I know. Buddy. Last piece. Good boy. Good boy. That's it. That's it, bud. That's it. You got it all over her. You got it all over her. <laughs> I know. She's a good girl. I know. I know. Good girl. Good girl. The Mori eel usually doesn't bother people, but they are more than capable of tearing a human apart. Check out how friendly this one is. A recent video of a whale landing on a boat. Oh, oh, oh. A leopard seal is in a deflating mood. One day, and I'm lying outside chatting away to this eel, and she came out. She didn't just come out. She swam around me, she swam between my legs, she nuzzled my face, and I thought, this is amazing. 
this thing comes out across the sand and swims over to me and hugs and lumps and she loves to be scratched. And there is no doubt in my mind that that eel really likes me. Elephant seals are huge. Imagine being this up close and personal. If I got my rod, there's like, ask the cops to watch my rod. <laughs> like they're really going to. I don't think these, this boat owner likes sea lions anymore. Oh my gosh, that's so close to sinking. If that thing weighs, if that thing eats three more salmon, it's done for. A woman swims amongst tons of moon jellyfish. It does look like them. Are they warm? I mean, they're warmer than the water around them. It feels like it, but I don't know. Warm and gooey. Yeah. Any, anything orange? Yeah, like I wonder if, if they do have some sort of attractive force between them. Yeah. They don't just Right. One day I would love to swim this close to a huge manta ray. A terrified seal just barely gets away from hungry orcas. You, you have to go. Yeah, you can't be here. Oh my goodness. I don't know what to do. Where did you come from? I never even seen you out there. I didn't know you were there. Oh no. 
What do I do? Oh, uh, I was in a oh, oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Yeah. I don't I don't know what to do. Oh, look at this octopus being a little lovey dovey. I guess I never thought about what it would look like for a starfish to walk around on the beach.
a lion gets a bath. This is our video to give you a demonstration of how we bathe our male lions. Mama, ahí viene. Mama. Are we done? Thank you. No puppet. The Giant Schnauzer is an awesome guard dog breed many people don't know exists. A crow outsmarts several seagulls. Crows are extremely intelligent. Happy um, Eastern Pusk or uh, whatever you call it. But now springtime is here. And I think we're both happy, both me and the muses. Right? A baby gorilla having some affection time with his daddy. Yeah. 
，玩爸爸啦，玩爸爸玩。谢个哦，哎呀，哦 ，so warm， 哦 ，lovely。This is an incredible transformation of a sheep getting forty pounds of wool removed. A wild boar wants whatever is in this lady's bike basket. And we're gonna see if the squishy's here. Squishy. Squishy, it's squishy. My sweet baby's back. Feel the chicken, squishy. You did it. Look at that squishy. A little girl up close and personal with wild hyenas. A very close encounter with a mountain lion in San Jose. Go. Huh? Go. 
Go, go. Sheep may literally be the sweetest animals on the planet. Where are all my black people at? One thing I love about pet rats is how they express their emotions. And one of my favorite ways they do this is through an action called boggling. A lot of people don't know what boggling is, so let's talk about it. Let's go. When rats are happy and content, they will make a noise called bruxing. This noise is caused by their teeth chattering and grinding together, which is basically the rat version of a cat purring. Sometimes when this chattering gets so intense, that's when boggling happens. The intense vibration of their teeth grinding together will cause their eyes to move quickly in and out of their sockets. To people not familiar with pet rat behavior or even new pet rat owners, boggling can be startling at first, but rat owners will quickly come to love boggling once they realize it means that their pet is happy and content. So here. Oh, he moves fast. No, don't go in my room. How am I going to get him out? A mountain goat does some licking. It's goat licking arm. I'm talking to the goat. What? I'm talking to the goat. He's licking the salt off my arm. Now that's one friendly goat. Okay, that's enough. Check out this video of this cat freaking out. Snickers, Snickers, over here, Snickers. There's my other one. Stand up.
Hello. Have you ever come across a non-wild rat and thought, wow, I really want to pick up this serotonin potato, but you don't do it because you don't know how? Well, welcome to how to pick up a rat 101. Let's get into it. Scenario 1. A chonky girl has made her way over to you, and you give into the urge to tug the tail. That will hurt the rat. Respectfully give the rat's tail a compliment and move on to try something else. Very elegant tail you have here, Miss Rat. Thanks. Scenario 2. You attempt a sneak attack from behind. This will spook the potato, so let's try something else. Gently offer your hand to the rat and wait while she conducts a vibe check. If she thinks you're cool enough to hang out with her, your hand will become the bridge to friendship. Or you can use the scoop method and kindly force your love upon the rat. For a mischievous potato, pick them up under the armpits and hold them up like they owe you money. Because they will always owe you money. Congratulations! You have now learned multiple ways to pick up a pet rat. Now, get out there and try it yourself. Thanks for watching! A badger steals some food out the fridge. If you are about to enjoy breakfast, you may want to turn off the Facebook. <laughs> this is hideous. Look at that. It goes all the way up. Wow. So, uh, I'm a big fan of sci-fi movies. And I like superhero movies. They tend to have really gross scenes like this. <laughs> An interesting encounter between a barn owl and a crow. Okay. One more, one more, one more. Okay. That's enough. I would love to know what it feels like to be this close to a wild bald eagle. Thank you. 
One more time. Check out this huge anaconda in the Amazon. Welcome to Cat Island in Japan. Here, cats outnumber humans more than 10 to 1. This tiny fishing village once had a population of 800 people, but the sardine fisheries depleted, jobs moved to cities, and human residents left the island. Now there are just 16 people here and more than 160 cats. It's an adjustment for visiting reporters. <laughs> There's a sort of predictable rhythm on Cat Island. A neighborly dispute or two, some eating, some sleeping, and some more eating. The big moment of the day is when the tourist boat shows up. It's 45 minutes of bliss for all involved. We asked school lunch lady Hitomi Goto why the Japanese love cats so much. Cats do as they please, but we can't do that, she said, referring to her regimented life. Cats go where they want and snooze when they feel like it. So leaving my work to see them is very relaxing. I'm guessing this caracal is a pet, but wow, those teeth are terrifying. <laughs> An electric eel lights up a Christmas tree. An elephant seems pretty irritated.
Fu. Изумительные кадры. Фу. Видео? Absolutely. A neighbor even put this sign up. Mountain lion warnings are rippling through this area and for good reason. For the first time, we have 15 year old Paige Radinsky's video showing what she saw just outside her sliding glass doors. I don't know why he's not running away. I think it's up close. This mountain lion was acting like any other house cat. It was purring and hissing at my dogs. I go over and I was like, oh, please don't let it be the mountain lion. Of course it was. Paige so. Radunsky said the tagged cat hung outside these sliding glass doors for about a half hour, then left only to come back. So the Labradoodle was a little bit scared, but um, our Border Collie Lab mix wasn't at all. He was actually kind of excited by it. <laughs> well, I the cat was just laying here. Her father, Pierre, wasn't home at the time. It's definitely nerve wracking for, for the homeowners that have dogs. Um, or cats. Two houses that direction is the. Here showed us his backyard where the cat wandered around. Hours after this family called Simi Valley Police and officers scared it off, someone noticed the cougar here around 1 a.m. Same neighborhood, this time down the street around Moonshadow and Rising Star Avenue. The cat then strolled along Yosemite and eventually it jumped a wall towards Bluebird Circle where we found the Amines. They were pointing the flashlights over there, so we got to see the end of the cat. So that was a surprise, yeah, like we saw the police cars, so that's the reason like they had a, fl a flashlight. Both these sightings come after two attacks. One Wednesday night when Sammy barely survived his skirmish with the large cat. Hours later, early Thursday morning, when a woman desperately tried to fend off the mount lion after her miniature schnauzer Pumbaa charged it. The 30 pound dog was no match for the cat. The, sh the Schnauzer died. The Rodninskis made sure to check their backyard before they took their two dogs out today. Police told them even though the cat is tagged, that tag is not active, so no one has been able to track it. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. I'm Curtis. See you next time. Like a fish on land.